There are three theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. Charity being number one. Stay tuned. Our last video had the four cardinal virtues, which were prudence, temperance, justice, and fortitude. This video we're focusing on faith, hope, and charity. So let's start with faith. What is faith? Faith is when we believe in God. It's something that we can't see, it's intangible. Jesus all throughout scripture said, your faith has healed you. He never said your works have healed you. He always said, wow, what faith. I've never seen such faith. It's because of your faith that you're healed. It's always talking about faith. Faith is believing in God and trusting that he's there, that he hears our prayers and that we can count on him. Faith is the theological virtue by which we believe in God and believe all that he has said and revealed to us. And that Holy Church proposes for our belief because he is truth itself. By faith, man freely commits his entire self to God. For this reason, the believer seeks to know and to do God's will. The righteous shall live by faith. Living faith works through charity. Hope. What is hope? When we hope, it's almost like we're counting on something. We're counting on our faith, and we're counting on things to get better, or we're counting on good things. We trust through our faith, and we're hopeful that God is gonna give us all the gifts that God has promised us. We hope for greater things. We hope for heaven. We hope. Hope is the theological virtue by which we desire the kingdom of heaven and eternal life as our happiness, placing our trust in Christ's promises and relying not on our own strength, but on the help of the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful, the Holy Spirit. He poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified through his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. And love, charity, the number one virtue. The number one virtue because it's love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. I think it's Peter who also said, love covers a multitude of sins. So I can only speak for myself, I'm a mess. Even as Lent goes by, whether it be anger or gluttony or lust or whatever it is, it's always something. But the one thing our Lord wants us to focus on is love, is charity, being kind to people, being patient, being loving, being accessible, just being there for people, that's love, that's charity. Charity is the theological virtue by which we love God above all things for his own sake and our neighbor as ourselves for the love of God. Jesus makes charity the new commandment by loving his own to the end. He makes manifest the Father's love which he receives. By loving one another, the disciples imitate the love of Jesus which they themselves receive. Whence Jesus says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. And again, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Christ died out of love for us while we were still enemies. The Lord asks us to love as he does, even our enemies, to make ourselves the neighbor of those farthest away, and to love children and the poor as Christ himself. So there you have it. Faith hope and love, and love being number one. You know, all throughout scripture, St. Paul reminds us, we can have all the greatest gifts, but without love, we have nothing. I might be able to minister to you through YouTube. Doesn't matter if I don't have love and compassion. We might go out in the streets and serve the homeless. Doesn't matter if I don't have love and compassion as I'm doing it. Love and compassion starts at home. Starts with your immediate family. If we all just love what's in front of us, now keep in mind, these three virtues are gifts. If everything is from God and everything is a gift, we can't just achieve hope, faith, and love. We have to pray for these virtues. God wants to give them to us, but we have to pray for them, ask for them. He'll give them to us. Hope you have a blessed day. Pay attention to that last picture I put up there about Christ dying on the cross as we enter into Holy Week. It's all about love. It's all about sacrifice. So be blessed, my friends. Hope you enjoyed today's video. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, bless us with these three virtues. Hope, faith, 
charity. May we do your will as we come into this holy week. God bless you all. Have a great day.